chapter 17. And this was the part marked out for the tribe of Manasseh, because he was the oldest son of Joseph. As for Machir, the oldest son of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war he had Gilead and Bashan. And as for the rest of the children of Manasseh, their heritage was given to them by families, for the children of Abiza, and for the children in Helic, and for the children of Israel, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hepha, and for the children of Shemada, these were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their families, but Zelophehad, the son of Hepha, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, but only daughters, and these are the names of his daughters, Mira, and Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tertza. And they came before Eleazar the priest, and Joshua, the son of Nun, and before the chiefs, saying, The Lord gave orders to Moses to give us a heritage among our brothers, so in agreement with the orders of the Lord he gave them a heritage among their father's brothers. And ten parts were given to Manasseh, in addition to the land of Gilead and Bashan, which is on the other side of Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh had a heritage among his sons, and the land of Gilead was the property of the other sons of Manasseh, and the limit of Manasseh's land was from Asher to Micmethoth, which is before Shechem. The line goes on to the right hand, to the people of Entapua. The land of Tapua was the property of Manasseh, but Tapua on the edge of Manasseh was the property of the children of Ephraim. And the limit goes down to the stream Kana, to the south of the stream, these towns were Ephraims among the towns of Manasseh, Manasseh's limit was on the north side of the stream, ending at the sea, to the south it is Ephraim's, and to the north it is Manasseh's, and the sea is his limit, and they are touching Asher on the north, and Issachar on the east, in Issachar and Asher, Manasseh had Beth Sheen and its daughter towns, and Iblim and its daughter towns, and the people of Dor and its daughter towns, and the people of Endor and its daughter towns, and the people of Danak and its daughter towns, and the people of Megiddo and its daughter towns, that is, the three hills. But the children of Manasseh were not able to make the people of those towns go out, but the Canaanites would go on living in that land. And when the children of Israel had become strong, they put the Canaanites to forced work, in place of driving them out. Then the children of Joseph said to Joshua, Why have you given me only one part and one stretch of land for my heritage? For through the blessing given to me by the Lord up to now, I am a great people. Then Joshua said to them, If you are such a great people, go up into the woodlands, clearing a place there for yourselves in the land of the Perizzites and the Rephaim, if the hill country of Ephraim is not wide enough for you. And the children of Joseph said, The hill country is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites living in the valley have iron war carriages, those in Beth Sheen and its towns as well as those in the valley of Jezreel. Then Joshua said to the children of Joseph, To Ephraim and Manasseh, You are a great people, and have great power. You are not to have one property only, but the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be thine, for thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Chapter 18 And all the meeting of the children of Israel came together at Shiloh and put up the tent of meeting there, and the land was crushed before them. But there were still seven tribes among the children of Israel who had not taken up their heritage. Then Joshua said to the children of Israel, Why are you so slow to go in and take up your heritage in the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you? Take from among you three men from every tribe, and I will send them to go through the land and make a record of it for distribution, as their heritage, then let them come back to me, and let them make division of it into seven parts. Let Judah keep inside his limit on the south, and let the children of Joseph keep inside their limit on the north. And you are to have the land marked out in seven parts, and come back to me with the record, and I will make the distribution for you here by the decision of the Lord our God. For the Levites have no part among you, to be the Lord's priests is their heritage, and Gad and Reuben and the half-tribe of Manasseh have had their heritage on the east side of Jordan, given to them by Moses the servant of the Lord. So the men got up and went, 
And Joshua gave orders to those who went, to make a record of the land, saying, Go up and down through the land, and make a record of it and come back here to me. And I will make the distribution for you here by the decision of the Lord in Shiloh. So the men went, traveling through the land, and made a record of it by towns in seven parts in a book, and came back to Joshua to the tent circle at Shiloh. And Joshua made the distribution for them in Shiloh by the decision of the Lord, marking out the land for the children of Israel by their divisions. And the first heritage came out for the tribe of Benjamin by their families, and the limit of their heritage went between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. And their limit on the north was from the Jordan. And the line goes up to the side of Jericho on the north and through the hill country to the west, ending at the wasteland of beth Aven. And from there the line goes south to Luz, to the side of Luz, which is Bethel, then down to Ataroth Adda, by the mountain to the south of Beth or on the lower. And the limit is marked as coming round to the south on the west side from the mountain which is south of Beth Oron, and ending at Kiriath Baal, which is Kiriath Jirin, a town of the children of Judah. This is the west part. Come the south part is from the farthest point of Kiriath Jirin. And the line goes out to the west to the fountain of the waters of Nephtoa. And the line goes down to the farthest part of the mountain facing the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is on the north of the valley of Rephaim. From there it goes down to the valley of Hinnom, to the side of the Jebusite on the south as far as Enrogil. And it goes to Enshemesh and on to Jelaloth, opposite the way up to Adumim. And it goes down to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And it goes on to the side facing the Arabah to the north, and down to the Arabah, and on to the north side of Beth Hogla, ending at the north inlet of the Salt Sea at the south end of Jordan. This is their limit on the south, and the limit of the east part is the Jordan. This is the heritage of the children of Benjamin, marked out for their families by these limits on all sides. And the towns of the children of Benjamin, given to them in the order of their families, are Jericho and Beth Hogla and Imekezes and Beth Arabah and Zmriam and Beth El and Avim and Para and Ophra and Shepher Ammoni and Ophni and Geba, twelve towns with their unwalled places, Gibeon and Ramah and Biroth and Mizpeh and Shepherah and Mozar and Rechum and Erpil and Derala and Zela, Eliph and the Jebusite, which is Jerusalem, Jibeth and Kiriath. Fourteen towns with their unwalled places. This is the heritage of the children of Benjamin by their families. Chapter 19 And the second heritage came out for the tribe of Simeon by their families, and their heritage was in the middle of the heritage of the children of Judah. And they had for their heritage Beersheba and Shema and Malada and Hazashul and Bala and Ezum and Eltolad and Bethuel and Homer and Ziklag and Beth Markaboth and Hazasuzar and Beth Lebaoth and Sharon, thirteen towns with their unwalled places, Ain, Rimmon, and Ether and Ishan, four towns with their unwalled places, and all the unwalled places round about these towns as far as Berlath Biramar to the south. This is the heritage of the tribe of Simeon by their families. The heritage of Simeon was taken out of Judah's stretch of land, for Judah's part was more than they had need of, so the heritage of the children of Simeon was inside their heritage. And the third heritage came out for Zebulun by their families. The limit of their heritage was as far as Sarid, and their limit goes up to the west to Marala, stretching to Dabshith, and to the stream in front of Jonim. Then turning east from Sarad to the limit of Chisloth Tabor, it goes out to Dabarat, and up to Japhia, and from there it goes on east to Gath Hefer, to Eth Kazin, ending at Rimmon which goes as far as near, and the line goes round it on the north to Hanathan, ending at the valley of Iftael, and Katath and Nahalil and the Shimron and Idila and Bethlehem, twelve towns with their unwalled places. This is the heritage of the children of Zebulun by their families, these towns with their unwalled places. For Issachar the fourth heritage came out, for the children of Issachar by their families, and their limit was to Jezreel and Chesloth and Shunem and Hapharim and Shion and Anaharat and Rabbith and Kishon and Abez and Remeth and Enganim and Enhadar and Beth Paziz, and their limit goes as far as Tabor and Shah Azima and Beth Shemesh, ending at Jordan. Sixteen towns with their unwalled places. 
This is the heritage of the tribe of the children of Issachar by their families, these towns with their unwalled places. And the fifth heritage came out for the tribe of Asher by their families. And their limit was Helkarth and Hali and Beton and Aixhaf and Elamulch and Amid and Mishael, stretching to Carmel on the west and Shihol of Nath, turning to the east to Beth Dagon and stretching to Zebulun and the valley of Iftael as far as Beth Imek and Neil to the north. On the left it goes as far as Kabul and Ebron and Rehob and Haman and Kana, to Great Zidon, and the limit goes round to Ramah and the walled town of Tyre and Hosea, ending at the sea by Heleb and Aksib, and Umar and Afek and Rehob, twenty-two towns with their unwalled places. This is the heritage of the tribe of the children of Asher by their families, these towns with their unwalled places. For the children of Naphtali the sixth heritage came out, for the children of Naphtali by their families, and their limit was from Helif, from the oak tree in Zarnanim, and Adami Hanakeb and Jabneel, as far as Lachem, ending at Jordan, and turning west to Asnath Tabor, the limit goes out from there to Hukok, stretching to Zebulun on the south, and Asher on the west, and Judah at Jordan on the east, and the walled towns of Zidim, Zer, and Hamath. Rakath, and Shinareth and Adama and Ramah and Hazor and Kadesh and Edrei and in Hazor and Ayan and Migdalel, from and Beth Anath and Beth Shemesh, nineteen towns with their unwalled places. This is the heritage of the tribe of the children of Naphtali by their families, these towns with their unwalled places. For the tribe of Dan by their families the seventh heritage came out, and the limit of their heritage was Zorah and Eshtar and Ir Shemesh and Sha'a Labin and Ijalon and Ithla and Elon and Timna and Ekron and Elk and Jibithan and Balath and Jahad and ben Barak and Gathrimon, and on the west was opposite Joppa. But the limit of the children of Dan was not wide enough for them, so the children of Dan went up and made war on Ushem and took it, putting it to the sword without mercy. And they took it for their heritage and made a place for themselves there, giving it the name of Rushem Dan, after the name of their father, Dan. This is the heritage of the tribe of the children of Dan by their families, these towns with their unwalled places. So the distribution of the land and its limits was complete, and the children of Israel gave Joshua, the son of Nun, a heritage among them. By the orders of the Lord they gave him the town for which he made request. Timnath Sarah in the hill country of Ephraim, there, after building the town, he made his living place. These are the heritages which Eleazar the priest and Joshua, the son of Nun, and the heads of families of the tribes of the children of Israel gave out at Shiloh, by the decision of the Lord, at the door of the tent of meeting. So the distribution of the land was complete. Chapter 20 And the Lord said to Joshua, Say to the children of Israel, Let certain towns be marked out as safe places, as I said to you by the mouth of Moses, so that any man who in error and without design has taken the life of another, may go in flight to them. And they will be safe places for you from him who has the right of punishment for blood. And if anyone goes in flight to one of those towns, and comes into the public place of the town, and puts his cause before the responsible men of the town, they will take him into the town and give him a place among them where he may be safe. And if the one who has the right of punishment comes after him, they are not to give the taker of life up to him, because he was the cause of his neighbor's death without designing it and not in hate. And he is to go on living in that town till he has to come before the meeting of the people to be judged till the death of him who is high priest at that time. Then the taker of life may come back to his town and to his house, to the town from which he had gone in flight. So they made selection of Kadesh in Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, and Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Abba, which is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, and on the east side of Jordan at Jericho. They made selection of Bezer in the waste land, in the table land, out of the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead out of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan out of the tribe of Manasseh. These were the towns marked out for all the children of Israel and for the man from a strange country living among them, so that anyone causing the death of another in error, might go in flight there, and not be put to death by him who has the right of punishment for blood till he had come before the meeting of the people, 